time I post this, I may have made a similar video to this. Um, so uh, most of my diet for the last 20 years has been uh, fluid dairy products. So that would basically be milk and cream um, that I buy in grocery stores. But once in a while, but I do seem to acquire other food um, from various means. Often people give me food or we end up with food that no one else wants at the house. So I end up eating it because I don't like food to go to waste. In a grocery store, almost invariably, the only thing I'll spend my own money on buying is fluid dairy products. But when I get food from other sources, in this case, well, this started out as a full piece of bread, and I've used some of it, but I've got some bread left. I do sometimes buy other things that I think will make a nice dish. So what I'm going to do with this bread, I'm going to melt this cheese. Um, that's uh, that's probably, I live in a city with a lot of Armenian people, and this, I guess, is probably an Armenian cheese. I don't know for sure what would really make it Armenian. I think that might be the Armenian language. Um, anyway, it's a nice white cheese in a salty brine. I've eaten most of it. I'm going to try to finish it up today. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to melt it in that skillet in cream. So in the past, I would melt things in butter, but... Um, you melt it in in butter to keep it from sticking to the skillet but i but i but butter is generally churned from cream and i eventually decided it seemed fine to just melt things in cream to uh cut out that middle step of churning cream into butter and just use cream um so i'm going to melt the cheese in cream and then i'm going to pour it over the the bread which i'll tear apart into smaller bites and put in a, a a large bowl for the cream and cheese and i'm ready to use up this cheese so i may have more cheese than would normally be the right kind of the right proportion to the bread um i'm not quite sure there's not a great deal of cheese left but i don't have anything else to combine with the cheese and I, I want to use it up and I'm hungry enough that I'll enjoy it but then maybe it'll just be enough cheese to match that amount of bread but let's just see so I'm going to pour that cream in there and to open these you actually use a screwdriver and it even says that on the container so I'm going to open that up um, I guess you pry it up a, just a little bit with the screwdriver and then you can get your thumb under it and do it the rest of the way. And I'm going to reach in. Well, that's, there are some little chunks. That's my main chunk. Actually, that might be more than I want now. But anyway, I'm going to break it up, break some up into the skillet. And um, kind of watch how much is accumulating in the skillet till I get the amount I want. Um, I guess that might be okay. So I'm going to put the rest back. So I didn't, so I just, I guess I had thought I'd kind of try to use it all up. Um, but that might be as much as my stomach wants right now. Um, so, I guess eh, I could probably do a bit more. Um, so, I'll put the, the lid goes back on. I think I'll, I don't think I'll press, you press these on, but I don't think I'll do it here because it might be hard on the tray. 
Um, then, basically, I'm going to melt this on a fire. Um, okay. And I'm going to, as I, I am sorry, I don't have a, a transportable camera or, or a camera operator. So I guess I won't show you what happens at the stove. I'm afraid you'll have to envision it to some degree. It's not too complicated. I just watch it. I kind of move the cheese around with a spatula and I actually chop it up better with the spatula. And I add cream. Some of the cream kind of boils away or the water in the cream. So I add cream to keep enough in there. I don't want the cheese to start burning and kind of stick to the skillet. Um, and I'm going to just watch the cheese until I think it looks soft enough. Um, and that's kind of subjective. I mean, that that will sort of vary as to what is soft enough to you or and a lot of times I've noticed that I get impatient like I like I it doesn't get as soft as I'd like it before I can I get too hungry and I just stop melting and eat as is but let me go do that in there so I only cooked it Oh, 30 seconds or so. And I, this is my spatula. I chopped it up more with the spatula. And I already decided uh, I want a little more cream. Sorry, the camera can't bend to look very well in. But it just looks a little skimpy. And I can't articulate too well why that is. Sometimes... The cream will get skimpy enough that you'll see the skillet showing through or it's very close to showing through that might give me a clue that i want to add a little cream and um, i tend to probably err to to go to the side of having a little too much cream in there versus too little um, or let's just say having a good amount of cream in there versus a smaller amount because I do worry that it'll burn and I'd rather have a little, I think having a little more might be a good preventive. But anyway, if if you imagine I'm at the stove, I'm going to pour not a great deal in there, um, just watching how it looks. And now it's a little more adequately covered at the bottom. Uh, like I say, unfortunately, uh, the angle's kind of bad, but I think maybe you can see that it's a little thicker than it was. I'm not sure. This is a good spot to stand about this far. I'm not sure if I did that on the first, before I poured that cream in there. The amount of cream you pour in can, can vary a little bit from time pouring to pouring. A nice thing about cooking with cream is you can set your, is it doesn't run down the spatula. So you can set it down on the counter next to your cooking and it won't run onto the counter. Um, let me just say, uh, if I, I may say something wrong or uh, illogical in this video, I'll hopefully write it in the words, the description under the video. I may want to add something that I didn't, I neglected to say in the video. And I'll also put that under or, or make another video, or I might even change something that I said in the video and put that. So do look, look under there. A lot of times I don't, um, but, uh, or make a future video. Um, so let me go back and, and melt some more. And um, let's see how that goes. So I really only ran it another 15 seconds on the uh, stove. And it already, the cream, amount of cream already looked a little skimpy to me. So I'm going to add just a little more. 
Sorry, when I hold it up there, sometimes the light is messing with the, the yeah, so you can't see it super clearly. Um, anyway, that's a little more cream in there. So let's go, let's go cook some more. I can tell you, I think a person could, I've boiled spaghetti noodles and cream now that work just fine. Um, I think you could boil vegetables in a skillet like this in cream and it would work fine. I could think radishes, sliced radishes would be good in here or broccoli or onions. If it's something that takes a long time to soften, like broccoli might take a while to cook in cream. You might start that first. I mean, slice the broccoli into small pieces or slices. You might start that first and then add the cheese a little later because the cheese won't take as long. Although this cheese takes a long time to get soft, so maybe put it right in with the broccoli. But yeah, cooking in cream is really successful for me. Um, I think people might worry about the cholesterol in cream. I don't eat that much cream um, because most of my diet is non-fat milk, so which has zero cholesterol. So I don't worry about the cream and I'm not even convinced. I'm not even sure if the cholesterol and cream, I don't know if all cholesterol is the same. I mean, possibly the cholesterol and cream is not as bad as others, but maybe it is. I don't know. Um, and also, I can kind of feel when, when I'm too congested, I maybe wouldn't consume any cream because I can kind of feel when I'm feeling congested and maybe adding more cholesterol wouldn't feel that good at that moment. Okay, I thought it was adequately melted. Um, doesn't show the light. It messes with the light. Oh, I thought it was adequately melted. Um, and so now I'm setting that down, took it off the fire. It'll be cooling. I'm going to take this bowl and I'm going to tear up the bread into the bowl. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Yeah, eh, 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 eh. Crust is kind of tough. And then I'm going to spoon this onto the bread. So there goes some the loose cream. And here comes the cheese. I'm basically scraping it out of there. And, uh, kind of getting it pretty thoroughly. And I'm gonna, so it looks like, uh, it looks like that. Let's see if all that, yeah, uh, you still can't see it, but that's cheese, bread, and cream. I'm gonna kind of stir, stir the bread in and uh, that'll be good too. The salty, this tends to be pretty salty because it's in that salty brine. Um, the skillet still has some um, food in it, which is cheese and cream. So when that cools, I'll scrape it with the spoon. Um, I give it 10 or 15 minutes to cool. And then I'll eat both. I'll, um, and it'll taste pretty good. Um, it's kind of hard to go wrong with cheese and salt and cream. Um, and uh, it's pretty nourishing, I think. Um, I'm a big believer in fluid dairy. I mean, obviously, because I've lived 80 or 90 percent on it for almost 20 years. Um, so I'll let me pause the video. Um, if you like this 
content, do subscribe, share, comment, etc. I think it's good for everyone, and I think YouTube shows the videos in better focus when it's more engagement. Um, hmm, I was thinking, well, I'm going to wait while that cools. I could just sit here and sing or something or just make noises. La -da 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 I'm just improvising. So it's already been, I think, three or four, it's already cooled three or four minutes because it was off the fire when I started tearing up the bread, and that took a bit, and me talking to you, and then the, uh, then spooning it on took a little time, and meanwhile it was cooling there. Um, Another thing to help it cool faster is, um, at least periodically, you can stir it up again. Because I think what happens is it cools on top, but what's down below is sort of protected by what's on top and stays hotter. So if you stir it up, you expose what's down below and put it on top, and then it can cool. So it cools faster throughout. Um, and when you're hungry, like I am, you do want it cooled as fast as you can get it cooled. Um, short of, I don't love, I mean, I guess I could stick it in the fridge or something. Um, I don't know. I, I like to just cool it naturally. Um, stick it in the fridge. I don't want it to be cold. I want it to be warm. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I couldn't control it very well if I stuck it in the fridge, um, control the rate it cools at. I don't think, and I, so, and I don't like that kind of, I don't like the refrigerator cool. I, um, so, well, if you put it in the fridge to cool, it might cool around the outside from the fridge. Um, although, of course, you could do the thing of turning it. Well, since it's a brief cool, it's only 10 minutes, I just, I guess I just let it cool naturally. I'm happier with that. Um, in fact, 10 minutes in the fridge, I don't know if that would even have much effect. It might not even be worth opening the fridge door and then you'd have, and closing it, and then you'd have to open it again if you're going to turn the, the, the mixture. But uh, it's a pretty simple dish to make. And it tastes quite good. Uh, if you didn't buy a salty cheese and you wanted more salt, I suppose you could add salt. You could add any seasonings and spices. I I could go look and see what I have. Um, but that salt in there is maybe enough seasoning for me. Um, I mean, let me go look what I have. It also gives me something to do while it cools. Well, I found this, and I could put a pinch of that in, but I think this probably has salt in it, so I probably don't want to. Um, I acquired this somehow. I didn't buy it in a store, um, but uh, uh, I think anything I add may, maybe is going to add some a little salt, so I don't want to do that. I think the salt's enough. I could add some, I might have some pepper, but I don't know. The pepper's going to somehow magnify the salt or something, maybe just because it's a, that grainy. It's the same grainy feeling as the salt, so psychologically it seems sort of like salt. I don't know, but... Uh, I think it's probably the best the way it is now. Let me stir it again. Um, uh, that's, that's a pretty, I think that bread's pretty qual good quality that someone gave me. Um, okay, so maybe I can just improvise music.
while I wait. La 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 la. I just let my kind of voice go where it will. La da 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 da. La la love. And sometimes now I've been just improvising words that don't necessarily follow each other or make logical sense. I'm waiting for something to cool. And it's gonna taste really good when I eat it and satisfy my hunger, 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 hunger. I don't know if anyone else would ever cook this. The only reason I cook this, I'm kind of forced to. I would not make this out of choice. I, I'm forced to because someone gave me the bread. And I didn't want the bread to go to waste, so I wanted to put it together with something. I don't, I don't like bread by itself. It needs something with it for me. So um, this is what I did with it. Um, but this might look good enough to someone else that they, I don't know if anyone would actually buy these ingredients. Um, I don't know if this would be good with a bread. This is a pretty firm bread. I don't know if it'd be good with a really light bread that would get really soggy. Um, but this bread was okay. I mean, maybe it would be good with a, a soggier bread. I'm not sure. But... Da, 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 da. Waiting for the mixture to cool so I can eat it in the spoon. Yeah, I'm gonna use yeah, I'm gonna use that same big spoon to eat it. Waiting for the mixture to cool, so I can do it with a spoon. I'm anticipating it. My saliva is is running a little, anticipating eating it. Waiting for, 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 if I have to wait for something, it's not ex exasperating if I can sing while I'm doing it because then I feel at least I'm doing something, like I'm practicing something, I'm getting better at something like singing, um, even though I'm having to wait, which feels like a waste of time. If I'm doing something good, then it's okay. Sometimes I'll doodle while I wait, so I think I'm expanding my artistry. Sometimes I'll run my hands around on my face. That's a little bit like massage, but I also kind of like the sound. It's a very low volume sound of my fingers sliding against my skin. I kind of find that to be musical too. Um, but lately I have been singing more Sometimes I try to rhyme the lyrics, but I'm looking out the window at the backyard and the trees and the sky and the mountains across. It's it's nice. I've also been playing with just making any sound.
that feels sort of like a good practice too, like I'm becoming more skillful with my mouth. And I can, tr those sounds for me kind of fit in the broad category of music. Um, music usually has that sweetness of actual melody. I, I don't know, like if I make a sound like that doesn't sound quite as sweet as la da 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 da, but it's still pleasant enough for me that it's it's musical. It's music. It, it feels like making music too, or you could just call it making sound that you enjoy making. But um, I've been playing with that. Blah, 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 well, let me pause this. Well, I don't know if people in... Mm, I imagine people want to see me at least eat a bite or two. Um, which is kind of funny. I mean, I think people realize it tastes pretty good, but maybe they want to see my face as I eat it. Um, but uh, I really like to make sure it's cool. Something about me, it really bugs me when things are even a little too hot. And I usually end up taking my first bite while it is a little too hot. I mean, I'll test it with a little bit off the spoon. I mean, that's okay. So I got a, a bite with some cheese, bread, and cream on it. Ham. Oops. And it's good. I mean, the texture's nice. All three textures are nice. The cheese, the bread, and the cream. The cream gives it some, some flu, fluidness, which is nice. And, of course, there's a salt. So, um, I'd say it worked out. Um, I will finish eating it. I can show you me scraping the skillet. Um, basically, pulling it down, getting it off the edge. Mm. That's out of the skillet. Put those newspapers there because at some point the bottom of the skill it was hot. Um, so that's it. Um, if I think of anything, as I say, look under the video or a future video. Cream is fairly high calorie. So you might take that into consideration if you make this. Um, I I deal with weight generally just I generally pay attention to my body so if I ate that and it has calories I might not eat as much for a while it's a complicated topic I guess but it seems to me you could enjoy that and still keep your weight to a reasonable degree with the last spoonful I just took, I got pretty much all cheese and cream, no bread. So I may have, I may not have gotten a perfect ratio when I, I let's see, I crumbled the cheese first, just kind of estimating. Well, I said at the beginning, I might not, I might do more cheese in this case than bread because I'm 
somewhat trying to use up the cheese. But just getting the cheese in the spoon with some cream tastes really nice too. It doesn't have to have a bread in it. In fact, I'm probably going to finish the cheese and cream just by melting the cheese in a skillet and then eating the cheese and cream without any anything else. No bread, no anything else. Um, and that'll be good too. The salt helps for sure. And I will use that brine. I'll probably make a video about that. I might add, I don't like bread all that much by, in general, but it's pretty nice this way. I'm actually drinking a little milk as I consume this um, as sort of my beverage. So a person can, uh, this would be like a dish and then you have a drink at, at a, I don't know if that's a full meal. Um, I mean, it's, it's fairly close for me, 